everybody welcome to another tutorial of uh, delinear marketing this is Hina, and today we are going to create a glowing neon effect around the object so i am going to take this bottle this is a coke bottle that i have created uh, just the outline of that bottle i i took the image from the google images and i drawn this uh, line outline uh, of bottle by using this pen tool this is very simple and very easy so you can if you want you can download this file from my blog post so I will upload over there. I just uh, drawn this to save time, and we are we will work on this uh, uh, lines on the on the outline of this bottle, and we will create an illuminating effect or the glowing effect uh, around the edges of this bottle. So let's start now. Okay. So uh, before going to create a new document, what I want to do, I will just uh, copying this layer. This is the absolute vector layer that I have created. So you can see that all the anchor points are visible. So I'm, I'm just copying it and creating a new document now. So you can go into the file and create a new document from here. I'm taking the size five inches into five inches. Uh, yeah, that's my document workspace. And uh, the orientation is portrait. I'm not working on the bleed at the moment. And the color mod is our RGB. This is very important to uh, consider the RGB mod for this type of illumination because if you will work on the CMYK, then the uh, there will be a lot of difference in the uh, uh, final result. And I will show you how the result will be different if you are working on the CMYK. That's why I'm uh, uh, working on the RGB mod at the moment. So let's start to work on with this with these settings. Press OK. And now we are creating this document space and I'm creating a black background here. Uh, this is very important when we are going to create neon effect or the glowing effect or we, uh, if you want to eliminate something, then black background is the more suitable background that you can take because everything that will be available or the visible uh, over the black background uh, will be uh, will show you the more quality results as compared to any other color. So I will just create this by using this rectangular tool and now press shift and select this layer and press control 2 by, uh, to lock this layer because uh, if, if not it will not distract you to work on the other layers so um, you can do your work uh, in a proper way okay so what uh, we have already copied the bottle uh, outline so I'm, I'm pasting over here uh, control V so sorry uh, the document is here, uh, bottle is here, so I'm pressing Control C here, and now press Control V. Now you can change the uh, uh, zoom in option to around 33%, so you can adjust the layer around your workspace. I want to keep it in the middle of my back uh, document so it will be look like this now it's uh, you can move into 150 percent so you can easily see that what i'm doing okay so i'm just changing the color to red red one and uh, here you can see it look like this now you can see that what I have done, I, actually I'm not going into the details of uh, creating these type of glowing effect. I'm just creating a layers over layers and provide uh, just a form of glow to, around the object. Yeah, otherwise, if you want to go into more sophistic, uh, sophisticated options, then what you can do, you can create the offsets uh, object, uh, uh, go into the offset mark and you can create uh, uh, an, a layers or, yeah, you know, some path uh, offsets and you can uh, create another uh, layers and you can do these things. But I'm, I'm, I, I, right now, if you are a beginner, if you are learning less then it will be quite easy for you to handle this uh, to copying the layer over there and create this effect or uh, glowing uh, look okay so right now the outline mod is the uh, stroke weight is three points so I'm just uh, going to move it to five points so um, it will be more thicker than before and the fill color is off so right now it looked like this now what I'm going to do, I'm doing the same step again. I'm pressing Control C, Control C. Uh, this time I'm pressing Control C and Control F. 
and you can see I have created another layer here and now the change and now you can change the stroke of the second layer to around one point so it will be more thinner and more uh, so uh, you can just adjust it in the middle of the first uh, bottom layer so and uh, change the color to white so it look like this okay so this is very simple and very easy i just copied the layer change the stroke created another layer over that layer and change the stroke to one point so that's so far we have done all this now this is the another car i am uh, uh, copying the layer number two press ctrl c and ctrl f again to place in same place and this time we are going to create uh, change the stroke point to four points okay so it will be look like this after changing this now you can see that there are three layers first layer thinner layer the second layer and this one so we have created three layers so far now we are going to change the color of this layer to bright red okay so now we are selecting this layer the upper layer because it's on front and now going to the effect section blur and choose the option of the gaussian blur okay now you can turn on the preview more to see how things will be look like here you can just adjust the level of uh, glow from here just by decreasing and increasing the uh, pixel size so you can see that how the this difference is going when when i'm increasing it and uh, so you can just adjust it according to your requirement how how much glow do you want so i think uh, uh, 38 is okay for me so i will press okay here so this is a very simple and very easy and handy technique that you can use to create uh, uh, glowing illuminations around the objects uh, so and it will be look like this if you are not okay with the uh, layer that is in the middle and if you want to make it more you know uh, 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 matched with the red one then you can feather it as well so what i'm going to do i will press it again and uh, I will just uh, select this layer and go into the effect section and here you can use the feather option and I want to use the 0 0.05 here and uh, remove this one so you can preview it how it will be look like so you can see this is much much uh, you know matched with the red one so we are going to make it more uh, let's see how it comes up with the 0 0.01 if I will go with this so you can see it is quite matched with the red one so you can place your uh, red image uh, over the second layer again and it will be look like this this is a very simple and easy technique that you can do so now I'm going to show you how the difference will come up if you will turn on the document mod or the document color mod to CMYK so you can see how the things are going I just convert it to CMYK and you can see there is a lot of uh, difference the uh, because CMYK is recommended for mod color mod for the printing and uh, this type of illumination is more recommended for the screen uh, resolution so the best option is to work with the RGB so it will be look like this after doing these changes okay now what you can do you can just copy this layer and uh, I I just uh, select each and everything place it here and press ctrl C and ctrl F again to place in same place and just move it here by using the arrow key and now you can change the things as per your need for example I am just selecting this and here I am changing the illumination color to red one oh, sorry to blue so you can see how the things are going so these are the, the very easy and handy technique that you can use to provide illumination uh, around the objects you can do the same things over the text or the any other object this is very simple and very easy to do thank you so much for watching I will come back to you with another tutorial subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye bye